Alrighty folks, welcome to the BRO Reloading Bench, or better yet, the Bubba Round Tree Outdoors Family Range here on the BRO Ponderosa. We appreciate you guys showing up with us. What, like I promised, we're doing a follow-up on Salt Creek Ammo TSS rounds, varmint rounds, that, uh, that we did the other day. I wanted to put up a bigger target so we can actually just see where point of impact, where this TSS shot is hitting and how it's flying at 50 plus yards. Come right along with Rachel and myself as we do this follow-up video on the Salt Creek Ammo TSS shot. Alrighty folks, as promised, we come back again to the Rush Family Range to, uh, we're going to reshoot the triple threat, the uh, TSS varmint loads that we got from Salt Creek Ammo. Um, we shot some fancy uh, coyote targets to start with. Today, we just got a great big target from Ballistic Products down there and we've got the optics adjusted. We're going to see how these things cluster. You'll get a much better idea on the patterns with this TSS shot at 50 plus yards. And just like the last one, if you haven't seen the previous one, I'm gonna put a card right here, folks. You can go back and watch the first video. We shot coyote size reactive targets, but the optics were a little bit off. Th this one on the three and a half was way off. All right, we got all that taken care of. First shot, once again, is gonna be the B BB size, 17, 18 caliber. And it's two ounces of TSS. And Keith has these things rated to go about 1250 foot per second. These are three inch rounds. All righty, here we go. Eleven twenty-nine. See what it was kicking them holes way out the other day. Okay, it didn't go very far today. Thank you, sire. Captain Buster has joined us. He's hiding in the shadows. Tough taking a nap with all this. Yeah, he said it's tough taking a nap whenever. Somebody's down here banging away at the range. Holy macanoli, I hope y'all can see that, folks. It is the, we've got it pretty well dead center with the lead, that heavy, heavy tungsten. It is shooting the tungsten just a little bit low, but with this great big target, you can see how it clusters. That, uh, actually that's uh, gonna be 18, 19 uh, cal size shot. If, uh, if he was anywhere in there, he ain't happy. So that gives you a much better idea of how that round clusters here at 50 plus yards. Uh, next, next shot, he's supposed to have, there's a number two, like a game size, which is like a 15 caliber in there, which is actually a little bit smaller than this, because I think I shot the B, uh, B first, or the BB first, let me see if I can find that number two. Now you talk about, a, that's a bunch of shot. And uh, we'll see how it clusters. y'all. Folks, when I'm looking at big game rounds or varmint rounds and I see number two, I think number two buckshot. Not with this tungsten. This is number two game loads, which is a 15 caliber. Just like the others. Keith has it rated 12.50 foot per second. Beautiful rounds. Beautiful roll crimp rounds. Two ounces of number two size, 15 caliber. 
two ounces of tungsten. I'm going to hold just a little over the bowl to make sure we get all of it on target. 1085 is what we got out of that one. Yep, we can actually roll these again. We can clean these up and roll them again, which is what I'll do. Oh, we've upset the bumblebees. <laughs> Holy cow. That's two ounces of uh, number two 15 caliber tungsten. Wow. That's a... Uh, Looks like all of the shot is in a 20 inch circle at, uh, at 50 plus yards. What a cluster. I held the dot just over the bull right here. So we're pretty well centered. I might bump it up one or two clicks, but, uh, but she is dead centered. Let's shoot that number T buck and then I've got some of my T buck. We'll follow up again just like we did and compare how the patterns go. Okay, folks, our last shot that we got from Salt Creek Ammo, this is T-Buck, 20 caliber. Two ounces of tungsten T-Buck. I don't know how many pellets are in here. I'm guessing 30 to 40, probably. Uh, there may be more. I just don't know a lot about tungsten. Uh, I've never loaded with actual real tungsten. I've got some Sphero tungsten from Ballistic, Ballistic Products, which is a, a number, he sent me a number four, but it's heavy tin plating around a tungsten core. So there's a big difference. All right, the T-Buck. Eleven seventy-seven. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be able to clean these up, and we can roll these again if we wanted to. Gracious! Holy cow! What a what a pattern! What a cluster of shot! Dead center of the paper, right there. Now. That being T-Buck size, I've been telling everybody, South Carolina has not caught up with the tungsten technology. Um, still on the books, you can't, we can't shoot buckshot sizes smaller than a number four buck, which is 23, 24 caliber. T-Buck just happens to be 20 caliber, a little bit small. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call DNR and I'm gonna talk to the director there about this stuff and see if there's any changes that'll be coming down the line. So. If there are, then we can talk about this further, especially for the guys here in South Carolina that may be wanting to shoot a $20 round. I don't know, maybe. God knows these things perform like crazy, and this is tungsten, all this energy, even down to 100 yards, this kind of stuff would be hitting like a hammer. Now I know, now my, uh, our 16 pellet, 14 pellet, quad loads, they hit like a hammer at 100 yards too, but, uh. I'm a uh, God Almighty, Rachel, honey. Can you fix that? Mm -hmm. If we had some big white um, stickers, we could probably get most of that covered. But if we can just cover most of it, I'm gonna shoot one of my uh, lead hand loads and uh, and see what kind of performance we're gonna get out of the lead round. I do now. Oh, flowers. Okay. Meemaw said she's got more flowers. Meemaw come down here bearing Klondike bars and stuff like that. <laughs> but that's what my sweet mama does. Okay. It, there's, a, there's perks to being down at the Rush family range sometimes. <laughs> All right. We got a brand new Fiocchi primed hull from Ballistic Products. 41 grains of Lil Gun under a 3 inch TPS wad with an 8 inch 20 gauge undershot card. And this has my hard cast polished T-Buck. 76 pellets is 1.6 ounces. We're nowhere near the two ounce uh, level. You would have to have a, a 
three and a half inch to do that. We're, so we're around 1.6 ounces and all covered in BSB buffer. I'm really liking the BSB buffer. It seems to get in places better than the original and better than the 47. It seems to be a finer grind and it really gets in around the small pellets. All shots have been out of the new 3500 with the Kicks Buck Kicker Lightful, which is a 700 constriction, improved modified, basically is what it is. And it has worked outstandingly well. Twelve sixty nine. And of course, this, uh, this is tried and true um, data. Oh, but the little gun. First 12 gauge round, I believe I have ever shot with the little gun. And we had 41 grains of little gun under a TPS, a three inch TPS, not white lightning wad with a 20 gauge undershot card. It looks beautiful. It'll load right back up again. Oh, baby cakes. Now, with, uh, with lead being lighter than tungsten, I can get more pellets in a round in the same space than the tungsten round can get into it. So that's why it's like, wait, my God, what? There's a lot more holes here because there was 76 pellets in that round. That's why. A 1.6 ounce uh, T-buck. But look at that pattern. It is still shooting a little bit low, even with the lid. I held right on the bull. I'm going to have to bump it up a couple clicks. But, there you go. When things work good, it is a wonderful thing. We'll see y'all on the next one. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, that's some awesome stuff. That's a heck of a pattern. I'm going to have to talk to South Carolina DNR about the... Uh, updating the rigs for the tungsten shot there's going to be a lot of deer hunters and hog hunters well the hogs don't matter okay hogs are an invasive species but far as the deer hunting rigs go we uh we would need to get some things changed to uh shoot the the tungsten big game rounds here in south carolina i'll keep you guys posted with all of that and as always we appreciate you guys riding along keith appreciate it uh appreciate you sending us the ammo and all that buddy to test it out we have really enjoyed it and we'll see y'all on the next one bye bye